This is Michael Popak, Legal AF Hot Take. Donald Trump is pissing off his jury. Donald Trump is not just pissing off and um, instilling fear in the jury pool of potential jurors, which come down 96 at a time in, in, a, in a tranche in the morning from which the uh, judge and the lawyers are trying to pick 12 impartial fair uh, uh, jurors to be impaneled and then sworn in in the box um, and along with six alternates. He's not just doing that, and I'll talk about that in a minute. He is fundamentally, fundamentally disrespecting each of the people selected as jurors by his own process with his own lawyers, which will not serve him well when this case gets up and running early next week with opening statements. Let me tell, let me talk to you from the perspective I always talk to you from, that of a longtime trial lawyer who's tried over 30 cases, who's been picking juries for the last 25 years. Juries are an interesting organism. When they get selected, they're individuals. When they join together, they become a collective and they start making collective and deliberative decisions together. And certain things happen, especially on a long jury trial that going, that's going six or eight weeks. There's something that goes on in the psychosis of a jury, in the psychology of a jury. I'll, I'm gonna give you the fundamentals. They smell fraud a mile away as a group, they appreciate authenticity and being told the truth and not being patronized in the way that things are being described to them. And they are very protective over the justice system that they are now uh, sworn members of and very protective of the process, usually their judge, and they're very sensitive to being disrespected or any parts of the criminal justice system that they are now compelled members of any parts of it being disrespected. The jury is being disrespected by Donald Trump every day since when they since before they were selected to be impaneled as jurors. Give you I'll give you a number of examples and it's not just the social media postings although that's also impacting them. Donald Trump it's hard to understand what he's trying to do. But Donald Trump has been viciously attacking the jury pool by, in social media. That will be taken up by the judge on a daily basis. And then on a specially scheduled hearing, evidentiary hearing on the 23rd of April, in which the prosecutors are going to be seeking sanctions, $5,000 a day in jail time for Donald Trump. See, you can be indicted for other crimes while you're on trial for crimes. Little known fact, Donald Trump never seems to learn. So that's a separate matter. The dismissal of the two jurors, one for lying and one for being fearful, has an impact on the remaining ones, the survivors. It's not, it doesn't just roll off their back like a water off a duck's back. Okay? It has an impact on their psychology, on their psychosis, on the, on the community building that's happening with a jury, right? Right now, they're all individuals, but they start bonding and binding together. And they see what's happening by Donald Trump's actions and by his hand. There's no one else to blame but, but Donald Trump, at least for the oncologist nurse being dismissed. And they see in the courtroom, because they got eyes, and these people are on TV all the time, they became minor celebrities. They see the propaganda machine leaders for Donald Trump in the courtroom. Today, you got Stephen Chung there, and you got Miller, I believe. And so these are smart, educated people in the Manhattan jury pool. And they look around, oh, you know, if I, and, and so this has an impact. But Donald Trump is being disrespectful to the jurors and, and, and to the potential jurors, signaling to them that he doesn't care, that they are a piece of gum or worse under his shoe. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. If I had just one more hour in my day, I'd spend it with the people closest to me, like my lovely wife. A lot of us spend our lives wishing we had more time. The question is, time for what? If time was unlimited, how would you use it? The best way to squeeze that special thing into your schedule is to know what's important to you and make it a priority. Therapy can help you find what matters to you so you can do more of it. I've personally benefited from therapy. It's helped me learn positive coping skills and how to set boundaries. Therapy empowers you to be the best version of yourself and it isn't just for those who've experienced major trauma because what you're going through truly matters. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. 
It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash LegalAF today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp.com slash LegalAF. What am I talking about? The most important person, sorry, entity, in a criminal trial, the most important for which we stand on an all-rise signal from the bailiff, is, is not the judge certainly not the criminal defendant. It is the jury at a jury trial. There's a reason we, including me, members of the bar, stand for the jury because they are the most important entity in that room in our criminal justice system. That's it. They are. They deserve and demand the respect of standing up, buttoning your jacket, and giving them the respect that they deserve for putting aside all of their personal and professional life and family responsibilities to do their civic duty. Do you know who doesn't stand for the juries or the potential jurors or the jurors that now have been impaneled? Donald Trump. His lawyers get up. Everybody gets up in that courtroom and the jury enters. Not Donald Trump. So do you think he's building what I tell my clients to build with the jury? Sincerity credibility, authenticity. Is he building sincerity, credibility, and authenticity? Everybody knows who he is. It's not like he has to start from scratch. And now on top of it, he and his ego and his narcissism and whatever else he's doing is gonna be disrespectful to the jury. And I'm telling you from doing this for so long that jurors become protective over the judge and jurors become protective over those lawyers that they think they can rely on and they can trust and are being not and are being respectful to them and clients alike and they start forming opinions we're human beings donald trump all he's doing is signaling to the jury that he is above them that he is above the law that he is not credible authentic and can't be trusted and so i don't know who is coaching Donald Trump. I assume no one. No one is speaking truth to whatever power people think Donald Trump has, right? They're all uh, coddling him. They're all sycophants that are licking his boots and nobody's telling him what he, sh what he needs to hear, which is you are insulting the court system of which these people are now a part. They are protective of the judge. You will push them over to the Manhattan DA side of the case the more you are insulting of them stand up for the jury you are not the most important person in the room and your liberty and your and your freedom hangs in the balance it is in their hands act like it see donald trump's never been in a criminal case before and he's acted out in the past we've seen it as i did a hot take on this um, back after the second E. Jean Carroll case, that the prosecutors were watching Donald Trump's behavior and they would be ready for the criminal case several months later. And that's exactly what's happened. They had people in the room from the Manhattan DA watching the E. Jean Carroll case. They know from the reporting what happened in the E. Jean Carroll case, the rape and punitive damage case. They saw Donald Trump's acting out in the second case, fighting with the judge, and they took notes and they learned. It's like uh, artificial intelligence, where it learns, except it's intelligence, which is sorely lacking from Donald Trump's approach to how he's handling his jury. And I, I am telling you that the Josh Steinglass and the other leaders for the Manhattan DA's office are supremely respectful in front of the potential jury. They already are, naturally, especially in front of Judge Bershon. To the jury, the judge is their God. I can't put it any other way uh, in, in, in any finer point. For their six or eight week service, the judge is their boss. And the judge does many, many things in order to, it's, we, we used to joke about it being the care and feeding of the, ju of the jurors. You have to keep them happy. You have to keep them rested. You have to, you have to give them sufficient breaks. 
You have to give them decent food at lunch. You have to change their lunch menu if they don't like their lunch menu. You have to you have to uh, be respectful of their time. I can't tell you how many judges have said to lawyers who showed up late for some reason, my jury has been sitting, waiting. You are being disrespectful. This will not happen again. We start trial at 9.01 every morning. Because, he, because the judges, one of the judges' roles, not just presiding like some sort of passive performance, is to manage the jury, keep them happy, keep them fresh, keep them focused, keep them feeling respected. And Donald Trump, if he tries this trick, although I think it's too late, at trial, not to stand for them, right? Act like this is beneath him, act like this is the kangaroo court, and this is some sort of Joe Biden-led election interference. The jury doesn't care about that. The jury's protective of the judge, the jury's protective of the system that they're now part of, and the jury wants their time and their service, their civic duty and their oath respected. And so far, we haven't seen that from Donald Trump. Now, he might think, well, I, I can phone it in now, but the I'll be, I'll be better at trial. Too late. Opinions are formed now by the five that are already impaneled, by the others that are being um, interviewed. That's when the decisions are being made. That's when, that's when um, opinions are being formed. Yeah, sure, they're fair and impartial, but I'll tell you what jury science tells us. Jury science tells us that the jury makes up their mind about a case, usually sometime just after opening statements. Doesn't matter how long the trial goes on. Six or eight weeks, I've been on trial six months. Doesn't matter. They've made up their mind off the opening statements and maybe the first or second witness. They're done. Not because they're, they're, they shut off their ears to the evidence. It's just that they have good instincts. Juries have good instincts about who's authentic, who's credible, who's telling the truth. Whose theory of the case, prosecution or defense, hangs together, is logical, is not insulting, doesn't require them to be treated like imbeciles or juvenile or children in order to reach the same reach those conclusions. Juries are smart and they make those decisions. Frankly, if you interview jurors at the end, which many of them agree to do, and, and I've been involved with jury science studies and jury science classes, um, they will tell you they made up their mind six weeks ago. They were just waiting for the lawyers to stop talking so they could uh, get into the deliberation room. In other words, if you were to take a jury, let's say it's an eight-week trial for Donald Trump here, and you were to take them somehow magically after the first five days of the trial, uh, after the trial gets up and running, and you will have them vote, that vote would be very similar, if not identical, to what would happen after an eight full week length trial and all the presentation of evidence and documents. And so that is, the point I'm making there is that Donald Trump is making enemies and not friends of the jury right now. He doesn't, he thinks he has more time and he doesn't. He's already, he's already dead on arrival if I'm right about this, and he doesn't even know it. He's weekend at Bernie's, right? They're, they're just traipse him around for six or eight weeks with sunglasses and, and lipstick, but he's done. Unless he wakes up tomorrow, I know people are, Popak, don't tell him, he'll, don't worry. I don't, he's not watching this particular hot take. But I'm telling you from a jury, uh, somebody that's cultivated juries, juries who has tried to establish immediately relationships with the jury the best way I can in voir dire, in the jury selection process, in the opening statement process and throughout. So they trust me as a trusted advocate who is credible, who's authentic, who's telling them the truth, who they can follow through the evidence because I won't mislead them. That is important. The lawyers have shot themselves in the foot on the defense side. Todd Blanche doesn't seem to be trustworthy in his ability to, to, um, connect with a jury. He's got a life history of being a prosecutor where they had all the evidence in there on on their side. Now he's defense lawyer for Donald Trump is proving himself to be very unpopular. We'll continue to follow the jury science and how it really plays out here in the Trump trial. One place, Legal AF and on the Midas Touch Network. Legal AF, our podcast. Join us on Wednesdays and Saturdays at 8 p.m. Eastern time. If you want to find out why we call it that, you'll know. Come. 
8 p.m. Eastern Time, and then on audio podcast platforms of your choice. Uh, and then you can, if you like my body work, slide over YouTube, Midas Touch, playlists, and, and hit Michael Popak and Contributor. You'll find all my thousand or so hot takes just like this one. If you like this one, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. It signals to the, I don't know, algorithmic gods you like what I'm doing. And until my next hot take, until my next Legal AF, until my next Patreon exclusive content, this is Michael Popak reporting. Heary, heary, Legal AF Law Breakdown is now in session. Go beyond the headlines and get a deep dive into the important legal concepts you need to know and we discuss every day on Legal AF. Exclusive content you won't find anywhere else, all for the price of a couple of cups of coffee. Join us at patreon.com slash legal AF. That's patreon.com slash legal AF.